I do research into the uh, foundations of ethical principles that uh, one might want to apply to business practices. I also do a course called Philosophy of Business and I have a research interest in that. Instead of looking to theory first, like some people do, they'll look to theory and then psh, don't they want to apply it to the practice. I'm looking at the practice first and see exactly what people are doing and let's see if we can get something out of that. And the truth of the matter is we can. My research has actually become courses and vice versa. I also do research into the, the foundations and rules um, effects of uh, a free enterprise system um, and which ties in with the business ethics and philosophy of business courses because we want to have proper ethical principles, we want to have a proper understanding of business in order for us to understand properly uh, what sort of economic system uh, might beneficially serve uh, society. An extended research project that I've had um, and I've just had the third article uh, just recently published in the Journal of Business Ethics, is this notion of examining what the practice of business is. And typically when you talk about business ethics or when you talk about markets, people talk about specific businesses and they want to talk about Enron or they want to talk about the latest and greatest uh, implosion. And, and the fact of the matter is, is that while there are individual businesses, and an individual business may do good things or it may do bad things, there's this practice there's a reason we call them businesses, or, or we want to call them businesses, is underlying practice, and can we identify that? And can that help us in deciding uh, the proper rules, the proper rights, um, the proper legislation, or whatever else we want to have uh, to make for a, a well-functioning market system? Under the right circumstances, people actually can come up on their own, if left to their own devices to solve their own problems, pretty sustainable rules of property, contract, and trade um, that are usually far more efficient than top-down centralized imposed solutions. So we tend to find that individuals come up with fairly just, fairly efficient rules under the problem circumstances left to their own. The reason I got into ethics in the first place was I hate being told what to do and I wanted to figure out what do I really have to do and where are people trying to manipulate me to their own ends? And the same goes for business ethics, right? And you hear somebody saying, oh, this is immoral, that practice or this business, blah, blah, blah. Well, is it or isn't it? Uh, if it is, then maybe something should be done. Uh, but if it isn't, then why is this person trying to manipulate me so that I favor some law they favor or some social policy or whatever else? So I, I think it's absolutely crucial to participate in the democratic process to be able to uh, have some filters for, for something that approximates truth and, and garbage. It's my passion. It's Some people like music. Some people play the piano for hours a day. Some people, uh, me, it's this. You know, you, you give me Milton Friedman or you give me Adam Smith and I'm lost and, and, and I enjoy it. Um, thankfully, I don't think it's irrelevant like music isn't, right? It touches people's lives, it makes a difference. Not everybody agrees with me, of course, uh, and so I get to engage in debates and they do as well, uh, and we go into the public policy forum, we go into the marketplace of ideas, and I find that fun too. I find exchanging and debating um, an enjoyable uh, uh, pastime, and I think it's fruitful too because I do think that that's uh, as John Stuart Mill points out, and one of the reasons that freedom of speech is important is because all the different ideas get to enter into the marketplace of ideas and people get to hear the good and the bad and decide for themselves.